What's going on everyone? Today I'm going to be going over the shot cam. All right, if, you, if you're familiar with my channel, you'd see that I've had the shot cam for by about a month now, and I've been using it throughout dove season, early goose season, a couple duck hunts up in Wisconsin, and also a deer hunt. All right, so we're going to dive right in into pretty much a review, and I'll go over some footage that I've had so far with it, and just what I really like about this camera so far. All right, so here's what comes in. All right, upside down. Shot cam gun camera. All right, comes in like a little travel case. Pop it open and uh, comes with a quick start guide. All right, it's just a manual on how to use it, get it turned on and whatnot. Um, obviously the camera itself, which that's that's all it is. That's how big it is, fits in your hand. All right, uh, comes with the wrench to uh, install it on your gun. It's just a 332nd uh, hex wrench, Allen wrench, whatever you want to call it. Uh, comes with a bag of spare parts. There's a camera lens, a couple extra wrenches in there, and just various pieces that could break or could wear down over time. Also comes with a cleaning lens, or a lens wipe, I guess you'd say. And then there's a charger. It's over plugged in on the wall right now. Um, so it comes with everything you really need, plus some backup stuff, which is handy. Uh, I always carry an extra wrench in my bag just in case, because first time I went on this year with this, I forgot this, and I happen to have that one in my bag, so that was lucky. All right, so I'm gonna get into how do you put this on your gun. All right, I got my Super X4 here, and I've been putting it right in above the stock here, right up in this area. Um, it says anywhere from eight to 12 inches from the end of the barrel, and it's probably a little bit farther than that, but it feels the best when I draw it up, because this is, it does have some weight to it, so if you move it too far up, your gun gets very front heavy, all right, where if you scoot it back, it doesn't change it too much. So all you do is loosen the screw here, so it's loose enough that it just kind of pops over the barrel. Grab the wrench, crank her down. And to be sure it's lined up straight, I look at it from this angle. And if it looks straight, which is crooked right now, bam. That's right, about straight right there. So once it looks right, I'll really crank it down. Make sure it doesn't budge. And the cool thing with these is they don't rattle. Like it's very put together well. Um, it's easy to handle. It doesn't add a whole lot of weight to your gun. That being said, if you don't put it way too far up, I've seen some people, they put it all the way at the tip of their barrel and it's, I've tried it and it feels super heavy. Like on your swing, it, it feels like you're about to lean forward with it. It feels so different. But uh, yeah, that's where I put it on. My X4 feels great. It doesn't feel that different at all, really, in my opinion. Um, but I've become accustomed to shooting it. First, it felt a little different, but if you practice with it enough, and the biggest thing I've done is just sit right here in this couch and I'll just do practice draws, just, just to get used to that muscle memory changing a little bit because there's a little bit of extra added weight there. So it's that simple, just as long as you practice with it enough, it won't be that big of a difference for you. Now getting into how this camera actually works, this is definitely the smartest camera I've ever had in my life. I've used GoPros and I use my phone for a lot of recording, but this one takes a cake for, it's a, let me explain. So when you turn it on, you just click that button and that's on blinking it's on um, eventually it'll go into what's called sleep mode where it goes about 30 seconds and then it'll just go into sleep mode all right so if you want to use it when it's on your gun all you have to do say you got birds coming in and you're about to shoot this is all I do then I draw okay and that camera recognizes that bump it starts recording and let's say you draw up and you shoot whether or not you hit anything you shoot it saves that video instantly. So let's say you grab your gun, you got birds coming in, you bump it, but then the birds flare or you don't end up don't shooting them out on your side or something. That camera recognizes that it didn't, a shot didn't register, so it will not save that video. All right, and that's something that I had no idea it did before I bought it. That it, it, it's got the memory or the, the sense to recognize a gunshot and it'll save a video based on whether or not it picks up that gunshot. It'll record, but it won't save a video. So at the end of a hunt, well, let's say I, I drew up on a bunch of birds, but I didn't shoot. I'd be thinking, oh, great, I'm going to have a thousand videos to go to. But it's really only like 10 because that's how many times I shot. All right, so it really helps you out in that sense. And you're only looking at maybe 30-second videos. All right, but that's the thing. It records in a third of the speed of normal time, and it's zoomed in. So it's already in slow motion. The sound's there, and it's a zoomed-in shot that you see that you like a lot. So that's, that's what I like about the camera so far. It's been my favorite asset in the sense of this hunting season. So like I said, if you are familiar with me, you know that I do self-film my hunts. I use a GoPro on my head and usually another GoPro to have kind of a, a wide angle shot of like the decoy spread or something. So that's really what last season, that's all you got to see is that angle. 
and there's a lot of times, especially early light, where you can't see a thing, all right? The GoPros do not do a good job of picking up low light conditions. Additionally, shooting at ducks and geese, if you take a farther shot, farther than like 25, 30 yards, they're just a little speck on the screen. Okay, so I'm gonna, I have three different clips here where I got the footage on my GoPro and the shot cam, and they're side by side. The one the GoPro is gonna play, and then the shot cam footage of that same shot is gonna play. All right, and I have three different ones, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll those for you so you guys see what I'm talking about. Got that last shot. So as you can see, like the goose shot there at the end, it, you, you could see the geese, you know, with my GoPro because they're a lot bigger and that was, you know, about the same shot. Um, but the dove one especially, you could just barely see the doves in some of those. So that shot cam really helped us, lets you see where your pattern's going. And it's just all around just awesome footage, all right? It, it's, I think it's initially meant for helping you see why you missed, which is fantastic. I've used it for that as well. Um, but additionally, it just shows you some awesome footage of your kills. So like I said, this does help you see why you missed. All right, so if you're, you hit, you miss a shot and you're like, how did I miss that? You can go to school and literally watch frame by frame of why you missed. So I'll play a few clips right here of me missing. And these are shots I remember taking. I'm like, how did I miss that? You go and watch the footage and you're maybe you're lined up right, but that pattern could go right over them, right under them. Or maybe you're not leading them enough or you're leading them too much. I've had a lot where I'm leading a dove too much and my shot goes and that dove pauses and that spread goes right in front of them, all right? And the shot can't pick that stuff up. So watch these few clips and you'll see what I'm talking about. So when I got this camera, my immediate thought was I'm only gonna be using this for basically wing shooting, ducks, geese, pheasant, doves, stuff like that. But um, I thought, man, I, I wonder if I could put this on my bow. I put this on my stabilizer my bow and it worked okay you could pick up some shots but it didn't work that well I'm like what, what could work better here so I did a little research and funny enough shot cam actually makes a bow mount all right and all it does is go right on your bow just like a stabilizer and all this is really is the same like uh, thickness of a 12 gauge barrel which by the way this is the 12 gauge model okay so this fits on 12 gauge barrels um, they make a couple other variations. I, I'm not sure exactly, but this is definitely the most popular right now. But uh, this clips right on, just like it did on my shotgun, and you just screw it in. And I actually did film, I filmed a successful deer hunt with this. And uh, it was cool because last year I shot a deer, and all I had to show was my GoPro footage, and you can't see anything. You know, it, it's just horrible at picking up bow, sh bow hunting footage. It's horrible. Um, I mean, it's good for exterior stuff, maybe, but when it's actually you drawing down on a deer and you shoot, the bow's in the way, the deer looks really far away and you can't see much. So here's the footage I got from the shot cam while I was deer hunting. Pretty sweet. So, all in all, love this camera so far. I've only had it for like a month and I've used it probably more than any camera I've had while recording videos. So, hunting season is a week away right now. Um, for, for ducks, that is, in my zone. So, uh, going to be a busy year. I'm excited to be using this with it. I think it's going to pick up some awesome footage to give you a different look at uh, hunting because, you know, when you, when you have the GoPro, it's hard to tell what's going on and what you're seeing. I mean, it just looks like little flecks on the screen you're shooting at, and then you just see one veer off and fall. This is going to make a huge difference in that aspect. So hope you guys liked this video. If it was helpful for you, please let me know. Uh, give me any other tips you'd like to suggest as well or using it in different ways. That'd be awesome. I'm definitely curious to see what else this thing can do besides that. I was already impressed with 
using it on a shotgun, but to see it on a bow and pick up a bow kill while it's being used is awesome. So if you guys like this, leave a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Okay.